And then there were the Numidian cavalry from North Africa. They were incredibly maneuverable. They would charge the enemy, shower them with javelins, then flee, only to rally and repeat the attack. On the battlefield, there was no cavalry that even came close to matching them. The Numidians were light cavalry. They came from North Africa. They were lightly clad and famously rode without saddles and even without bridles. They used just a simple neck rope. That's all they had. The Numidians were armed with fistfuls of javelins, riding at the enemy and repeatedly throwing their spears. They were hit and run troops. Riding without a saddle, stirrups hadn't been invented, riding without a bit and a bridle is challenging. It's only possible on a fantastically trained horse like this. The fact that the Numidians actually went into battle like that is mind-blowing. I can't imagine, but they must have had such control, such a relationship with their horses. This horse should follow me. Oh. So without any tack, without bridles and stirrups and all of that sort of thing, he's silent. It's stealthy. It's the perfect horse for scouting. Imagine them in the Alps. If you're going over treacherous terrain, you can get off and the horse will follow you. On Hannibal's journey, the Numidian cavalry were frequently sent ahead to gather intelligence. And they possessed a special skill that gave them the element of surprise. They would lay their horses down. It's perfectly comfortable for the horse. Here he goes. Mm. Now, just think how useful that is if you're a scout. You can get really low behind the tall grasses and scout uh, the enemy's camp, count their numbers. Then they could simply get on their horses. They were the eyes and ears of Hannibal's invasion force. 